Hello there, welcome to this video on one minute at and away from the piano. I'm going to give you six uh, ideas which you can do away from the piano and at the piano which last no more than one minute so you don't have an excuse not to do them. The purpose of this uh, content is to help you to will help you with your mind mastery and also help you with uh, reinforcing some piano uh, component elements. Um, of course, likes, comments, subscriptions are welcome. Please make sure to look in the description of all my videos uh, because there's always links to further studies and other goodies. Uh, right. First thing away from the piano is to see the 12 note block beginning with the chromatic scale here. And can I just say that not all of these may apply to you because you may have already mastered them, but still you might want to con consider doing it anyway. Even I do all of these from time to time, both at and away from the piano. So the 12 note block is C to B. That's all the notes we have available. And what you're going to do is as you're walking around, you're going to name the notes. So I'm going to close my eyes and uh, I'm going to just name the notes and their enharmonic equivalents, which, which means the same note being a sharp or a flat, depending where you're coming from. And I'm going to do that from a random place, but this is only going to be for one minute. So again, there's no excuse, just one minute. So let's just pick uh, a starting point of uh, F sharp. G flat, that's an enharmonic equivalent. Same physical note, two different names. And I'm just going to name in my mind as I'm walking around F sharp, G flat, G, G sharp, A flat, A, A sharp, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D flat, D, D sharp, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G flat. What you're doing here is reinforcing your internal piano, which is so very, very important and powerful uh, once you've mastered it for endless reasons, of course. In the description box below, there are many links to related videos to all of this content. So it's quite a rich uh, content uh, description box this time. So do that when you're walking around. And in one minute, you may be able to do two or three. But if you do this once or twice a day, uh, eventually you'll go through them all and just keep doing it. This is, you're gonna be doing this for weeks and months and years. So that's one away from the piano. Uh, let's do one at the piano. Uh, interval awareness with random keys so you might pick an interval for this one minute exercise you go oh, let's do a, a fourth so you'll just be at the piano and you'll go okay right e flat to the fourth but try and if you can create an emotional connection with that interval so what this is doing is reinforcing your major scales because you need to know that you need to know the major scale of for example e flat to know that a flat is the fourth but uh you're going to jump to the interval directly. So you might, you can, you can do this either way. You can either go around playing intervals, this, again, one minute. So you might just walk past your piano and think, I'm going to do one of those one minute things down the composer talked about. I'm going to do it in fourths. So I've just done E flat. Just, just come to the piano. Okay. There's a fourth in E flat and there's a fourth in F. There's a fourth in A flat. There's a fourth in E. Fourth in C fourth in B, etc. fourth in B flat, and just go around them like this, just to get used to that and start to feel what they sound like and feel like. So uh, that's doing one same interval, or you might choose instead to stay in one key and play each of the intervals randomly. So you might just go, okay, I'm going to pick the key of uh, I don't know, D, and I'm going to play uh, a sixth. Now I'm going to play uh, a third. And you might modify some of the major scale tones or even include extensions. So you might say, I'm going to play the flat nine of D, which is E flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, flat. You might play a, uh, a sharp five interval in D. So you see how I'm doing this instantly. I'd like to say none of this, of any of the technical exercises away or at the piano, are about your memory. There's nothing to memorize. If anything, all you will remember is the major scale template or the major scale shape. From that, everything else comes into place. You're not memorizing notes. You are, um, how can I say this? This is about an absolute mastery of visualization because if you can't do something in your mind, if you don't know it in your mind, you cannot do it at the piano. It's that simple. So please consider this content at and away from the piano as a way to, especially away from the piano, as a way to 
really, really fine tune your mind in terms of feeling, internal piano, and all the other philosophies I talk about on the channel. Uh, it really is for your benefit and fluency at the piano. So play around with intervals, for example. And again, this is just one minute. Away from the piano now, again on the internal uh, piano, uh, consider moving in intervals, but up and down, ascending and descending, but again, starting on random notes, uh, but continue for more than one octave. Don't just be stuck in one octave. Move around a bit on your internal uh, piano. So for example, let's say I'm gonna go around, of course, the fourth and fifth, the cycle of fourths, the cycle of fifths, these are very important. So you may want to, to master those first. And again, it's not a memory item. So you might go, I'm gonna start on C, and in your mind, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up in fourths, C, F. And you're gonna name it and see it. And again, this is not memory, this is visualization. C, da da da, F, da da da, B flat, da da, E flat, da da da, A flat, da da da, D flat. You can go up G flat, da da da, B, E, A, D, G, C. And you, you can just go up. Try going down. If you go down the cycle of fourths, it's actually the cycle of fifths. So let's just pick another one. Let's pick minor thirds, which would give us the diminished shape. So there's only four notes in the diminished, and then it repeats itself. But that doesn't matter because you're going to go up in your mind and see over two octaves that shape. This is really, really, really beneficial. I can't tell you how much. So let's just pick C sharp, and you're going to go up in minor thirds. So even if you don't know the diminished from C sharp, that's not important because you're going to find it anyway. It's about the mastery of being able to visualize, uh, not from not memorizing. So C sharp, my eyes are closed here. C sharp is where we're going to start, or D flat. And then a minor would be E, and we're going to go up to G, which is a minor. And then from G, you can go to B flat, and then B flat goes back to D flat. That's why it's, there's only four notes until it repeats on the minor third interval. But you're going to keep doing that. So again, D flat, you're going to go like E, G, B flat. Again, you're really reinforcing the internal piano shape. Let's do another one. Let's do uh, uh, sixths from uh, F. So you're going to see it in your mind. F, D, go up in sixths from D up to B, sixth of B, A flat, A flat sixth, back to F again. So that one had a little cycle itself. But you can you want to see the notes as you're playing them. Even if they repeat often, go up the 12 note blocks in different intervals. And the more and more you do this, because it's not a memory item, the more they're going to become very familiar to you. And it's going to be second nature, not memory. Absolute internal piano mastery visual of visualization. Uh, the next one at the piano is to highlight, this is going to highlight the four primary chord types, which you really must know because they, 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 they appear in every kind of music you could ever want to play. Even music that you may compose is going to involve these four chord types. So, for, so let me just explain. To get to the four chord types, we have to just identify two triads, major and minor. These are the two triads. To that, one can add all the other fancy notes. So we're going to ignore the triads and just not consider them really chords because they're kind of more like the, the two, how can I say, like the nucleotides of the DNA? Is that... I don't want to make it too complicated, but ignore the major and minor triads because you're always going to play chords which have sevenths on and uh, other notes. So the four primary chord types are, on, to on top or below, depending on how you see it, the two triads are the major seven on top of the triad and the dominant seven, and then those two sevens with the minor triad. Minor major seven and then minor seven. When you just say seven, it means dominant seven incorrectly some people say dominant seven as minor seven because their logic is that they are minoring the major seven but you're not the word minor only refers to the third if you want to use anything other than dominant seven you should say lowered seventh or flat seven not minor seven because that implies you're playing a minor the third with a dominant seven so don't don't fall into that naming trap i have a video below on naming chords um, and emotional connections of course so uh, the four primary chord types, major seven, dominant seven, or just seven, minor seven, minor major seven. So at the piano, you'll just come to the piano for one minute and uh, you can play uh, these chords, any key, any way, left hand, right hand, your choice. So let's just do it as blocks uh, at different times and we'll pick um, the key of uh, F, random, uh, yeah, F. So 
alternating. This is just one example. So you'll just come to the piano, go, oh, I'm going to do one of those one minute down the composer things. I'm going to do um, the four primary chords in the key of F, alternating hands, major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, minor major seven, in any order. I forgot what ones I did. <laughs> like that. So major seven, dominant seven, minor seven to give it some structure, minor major seven. You just do that. Then might do that in another key, uh, B. Major, I come down here. Major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, minor major seven in the key of B. And maybe one more key of uh, I don't know, uh, G, G, G. G major seven, G dominant seven, G minor seven, G minor major seven. Maybe one more for the minute. Do it in the key of A. A major seven, A dominant seven, A minor seven, A minor major seven. One minute, that's it. And then you leave the piano.